readers, I have been thinking about the books that you've been reading and the conversations that you've been having. And I know that you're saying things like, wow, I had that problem too. I learned the same thing that main character did. I was in that situation. And you know what? Writers of kids' books, they write their books thinking about how the problems are not just unique to that character, but they write problems that are more universal, meaning that we also experience them. And so when we read about the, fa the problems the main characters face in the books, that we can also think about our own lives and how we've shared some of those problems and what we've learned from those problems. Writers do this so that we can learn not just from our own experiences, but the experiences that characters encounter in books. They can help us to learn things about ourselves and life and the world. That's the work we'll take on and explore today. So readers, yet another way to compare the characters in the books that we're reading is to explore the lessons that they learned and the themes of those texts. So what we can do as readers is that we can uncover those themes and those similarities and differences in the themes by asking, how did the character resolve their biggest problems? And also, what did the characters learn? So let's give this a try right here with two of our mentor texts or read alouds, Peter's Chair and Make Way for Diamond Daniel. And let's think as we look at these texts and we read those parts, how did the characters resolve their problems and what did they learn about themselves and about life? Okay, and then we can start to compare them. So let's look at this spread right here. Peter sat in a grown up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint the little chair pink for Susie. So right here, he's resolving his problem, right? He is. Are you thinking about what he's learning? Okay, let's look at this next part. And they did. Look at that. Look at the painting. Look at the relationship between them. How are they resolving the problem? And what are they learning? Oh my gosh, I bet you have so many ideas. Just hold on to them right now. We're gonna look now at Make Way for Diamond Daniel so we can make the comparison between the two. Show off, whisper, Diamond whispered when Free was done. She was smiling when she said it. That evening, Diamond took out her photo album and turned to her favorite picture of Alicia. I still miss you, she said to the picture. Guess what? I've got a best friend here too. His name is Free. The next day was Saturday and Diamond knew exactly how she wanted to spend it. She picked up the telephone and dialed Free's number. Mrs. Freeman answered, then handed the phone to Free. Hey, it's me, she said when he picked it up. I'm going treasure hunting tomorrow. Wanna come? Sure, said Free. So let's pause here and let's think, how did those characters resolve their problems what did they learn and what feels similar, okay? Got it? Yeah, Peter, he realized the chair was not part of him. He could let go of his past, right? What did Diamond, how did Diamond resolve her problem? She took out her picture, another thing, right? And she said goodbye to it, much like Peter said goodbye to the chair and made way for new experiences in her life, like treasure hunting with Free. So what did those characters learn about life? Think of a similar theme or lesson learned that they came up with. When you have it, whispered into the computer. You might have said something like, they learn to let go of the past to make room for their future. How many of you said something similar? Yeah, it's uncanny. 
the similarities between those two characters and the lessons that they learned. So readers, will you start to be thinking about your characters in the books that you've been reading, how they resolved their problems, and also the lessons they're learning and how they are similar. That's important work to do always when you're reading. It helps us to see more in the books that we're reading when we compare them to other books that we've already read before. So today, will you decide what important work you're going to take on based on where your character is and his or her journey across the story mountain? What will you try today to think more deeply, more comparatively? Take that idea and write down your work plan and get started reading. Happy reading. I'll see you soon.